out so i wanted to make a very quick video so i wanted to make a quick video about my last job so in my last job i remember basically being um just not treated well by some people there was somebody there who like maybe was used to being admired and one of the other student workers there admired her i did not and maybe they thought you know because they're racist and they're used to the admiration that there was something wrong with me and i was just kind of like i am just here to get paid and get a reference and that's it so i wanted to bring that to the attention of my viewers because that job made sure that someone else in the office who was a grad student at the time got work in the vegas area in an office setting and i was literally the point of contact for that office i spent a summer there that i didn't want to spend working there it was like a nine to five staring at boring ass blue walls I didn't need the money at the time, you know? I just literally was like, okay, this other student's doing a research you position know. that I would have loved to have. And you know what I did? I stayed because I was very happy to be there working there. But not to the point of where, like, I would have did it for free. Like, I was just like, okay, I'm getting paid. I'm in a relationship. My husband stops by. He brings me my coffee. And I'm happy. And that's just it. So that happened. And I was working there. And some other office lady. Who was like head. Smart, intelligent, badass female person who hired me. She was working under the supervision of the now Caldwell University president. And I answered to both. And obviously, I treated certain people better than other people because that's how I was trained to be. However, um, she, one day, my kick-ass employer who hired me with another female who was also at the head, they decided to call out the other jealous female and said something about my appearance or something or whatever. I'm just like... You know, I suffer, you know, like everyone else. Very bad, maybe more so. And I know they suffer too. So I don't ever see any excuse for why I was treated the way I was treated. None whatsoever. Because there were other student workers at that office who are successful and have jobs in Vegas in the office area. Meanwhile, I was the point of contact for a long time. And I covered until I didn't anymore. And the reason why I didn't anymore is because the employee, employer, with other ladies and other people were referencing against, who were telling me indirectly that she was jealous of me, she decided to not let me use the bathroom and she was snatching, uh, sorry, she was um, like just throwing files my way. My filter is like making my eyes look green and they're not green, they're brown or black or gray or whatever. Anyway. So, she was just throwing files at me, not letting me use the bathroom while I would call her because I had to ask her to cover the front so I can go. She wouldn't cover for me. She would just not pick up the phone. And I was just sitting there like, I have to use the fucking bathroom. So, we attended Lent together on the campus and that building was destroyed. And there was a lot of occultic powers. That woman would sacrifice me for things like floors and buildings and God knows what else. She'd sacrifice me for like the worst things ever. She was that hateful towards me. And when we went to Lent, I gave up my Instagram account. And I remember seeing them there. And the Lord called me up first to get my ashes. That's what happened. And now I can't get a reference from the fucking job.